So we're here in the garden to do some potting up of uh, herbs in these really great Le Creuset, uh garden pots. Uh, they're just a beautiful color that reflect this wonderful color that we have in here in the garden in the springtime. And one thing to think about when you're planting a pot, think about it as a tiny little garden. So depending on the size of the pot, uh, one sort of medium size like this, you might be able to get two or three things in here. Uh, a small one, maybe one plant. But then if you have a larger pot, uh, you could plant many other things uh, all together and have almost a little garden inside the pot. And so what we'll do first is some gravel. Uh, you can use some broken pot shards if you like. And that will just keep the soil elevated a little bit above the bottom of the pot. Um, now we're using a good quality organic um, potting mix mixed with some compost that we make here on the farm. And so we want to add the soil and leave a little room for the plants to go in. And I found this really nice rosemary plant that has these great blue flowers on it. And what's very important is to sort of break those roots up because you don't want the plant to grow in that cube shape. You want the roots to kind of reach out to the area that you're planting it in. So once we've got that done, and you don't have to be terribly delicate in doing that. So we want to make sure when we plant the plant that there's a little bit of a gap between the rim of the pot and the top of the plant where the soil meets. And that way when you water the plants, you have an area for the water to collect in the, uh, in the plant. So this uh, silver thyme plant, we can actually sort of cheat and get two plants out of it. So where I broke the roots apart earlier, we can just simply break this whole plant in two. Because you think about this pot, that's his entire habitat that this plant is in. So we want to make sure that there's food for it as well. So this is some organic fertilizer. This is from chicken feathers and poultry manure and blood meal. It's, there, it's available quite easily. With organic fertilizer, you don't have to worry about burning the plant because it's not a chemical. And then we'll want to water that in really well. And this is a great trick for the kitchen is we'll, we're going to grow our own little microgreens. So what I've got here is some basil seeds. So you can take the basil seed and we'll just sprinkle the basil seeds all along the top pretty thick. We want to get the surface almost all the way covered with seeds. And what's going to happen is when we water these seeds, they'll swell and then in a few days we'll have some tiny little basil sprouts. And then when you cut them off, uh, you can just use them in your, in your dishes. You know, basil, uh, little microgreens are really good with eggs, uh, all kinds of different things in salads. Uh, and then also as the plants get a little bit bigger, you can transplant them apart, pick them apart and transplant them out into the garden or into other pots. Now we want to make sure when we water these, we keep them moist at first until the roots of these plants develop or until these sprout. And then once these sprouted, you can just mist that uh, pretty easily. Think small, plant small, and eat big.